Hello and welcome to this video. Today we are talking about the DeLonghi Dynamica Plus, one of the fancier super automatic coffee and espresso and milk making machines that DeLonghi has in their lineup. I'm quite impressed by it. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So to break down the video, I mean, this machine can do a lot. We're gonna start off with the machine itself, features that it offers. Then we're gonna move on and take a look at all the espresso and coffee drinks. And then we're gonna also have a look, of course, at all the milk drinks. And finally, we're gonna have a look also at the user interface right here. So, but to begin, let's just have a look with the machine as it's turned off. So I'm gonna remove the water tank here. It's got just a standard DeLonghi water tank. And uh, I wanna take a look at the brew group. So this is the brew group right here. And you, as you can see, I've been using it. And it's a standard DeLonghi brew group, no problem. I'm just gonna stick that back in and turn the machine on. You can only remove that when the machine is off. So let's put the water back in and let's turn it on. Okay, so when you first turn the machine on, it goes through a rinse phase. It takes about 30 seconds to finish up, and then it's ready to go. All right, so we're ready to go, and you're gonna notice, hey, Tom's got his phone out. Why does he have his phone out? Well, this machine has got an app on it, and that's one of the first new things, new to me, for sure, in a super automatic machine and that is the fact that you can connect to it. So this has got a Bluetooth module inside, not a Wi-Fi as you might think here based on this Wi-Fi symbol, but it is Bluetooth. And therefore you can start up an app on your phone. I'm gonna do it now. Okay, it does take a while to start up. I will say that the app is not exactly fast, but once it is connected, the good thing about the app is that you can make all of your preferences there for yourself. So the nice thing about this machine is that it's got three different profiles. So you can set it up for yourself. You can set it up for your significant other, for example, or for a guest. And the cool thing about that is, is you can set the coffee amounts. So what I have found with this machine is, first of all, it's got a pretty nice grinder in there. I can actually set it up to grind nice and fine, and I am at a grind of three right now. That gives me actually pretty nice pucks. So I've been getting pucks like this one here, which is actually very reminiscent of like a DeLonghi Dedica puck. So that is a good thing for getting yourself a nice, strong espresso or coffee drink. And then what you can do through the app, let's just have a quick look here. I've already got it set up. So I've got an espresso set up under my profile to have the extra strong, which is going to give me a longer grind time and a coffee quantity of 20 milliliters because I want to keep the ratio kind of compact. That's gonna give me a more intense, stronger drink. If however you want something more mild, then you could just move it down to medium, for example, or all the way down to extra light, and then it's going to grind less. So that is pretty a cool thing that you can do with this machine. You can set up all these different drinks, espresso, coffee, long, uh, a doppio, which is an extended um, espresso. Basically, it's not grinding for a maximum of five seconds, but rather 10 seconds. And that gives you probably right around 15 grams of coffee, and you end up with a puck like this that gives you a nice, strong espresso drink. Nice, strong, double espresso. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and make a drink and see how it's done. So I'm gonna start off right here. I like to measure my drinks out. I'm gonna just lower that guy there. And let's start off with a single espresso. Brew one, let's brew. So it is pretty cool. It shows you on the app everything that's happening from grinding to actually extracting the espresso. It's pretty neat. Mm. 
Bon. Let's build a little. Okay, but there you can see I got my 20 grams out, 21 actually. And you can see it's got a fair amount of crema on there as well. Now that's also a function of your beans. You need some pretty freshly roasted beans. And it's a function as well of a nice fine grind as well as having the right ratio. If the puck is seven grams and we got 21 out, then we have a three to one ratio. Well, that's, that's a pretty intense shot. That is very flavorful, very robust. Certainly some chocolatey notes coming out of there. It's tasty. But this one is a little small for me. I'd like to make myself a double, a doppio. So let's go ahead and make a doppio. So for the doppio, what we're gonna do is essentially grind for twice the amount of time. Right around 10 seconds, that's gonna give me a mm, really nice, intense double espresso. And let's go ahead and start it from here. Now, before I start, what I have to say is that you're kind of limited. You, the machine wants you to extract a minimum of 80 milliliters, but that would run this cup over. So I'm gonna stop it ahead of time. Let's take a look. W. Okay, I stopped it at 40 and we got a little bit extra, 47 grams. Look at that. That is a lot of crema, incredible. So yeah, that's what this machine can provide with some pretty nice fresh beans and a good fine grind. And with that nice dopio, that is a really nice looking shot. Let's taste it. Mm. Oh yeah, that's nice. This would make a really nice base for a tasty cappuccino or a latte macchiato or just a sip like this. Very chocolatey, a little sweet. It is uh, certainly a very nice, robust shot. So we got our single, we got our doppio. Let's go ahead and do the next thing, which is called a long. Getting value from this video? Please take a moment to like and subscribe. So for DeLonghi, a long is essentially two of the single shots like this one here, and they'll pulse it. So this machine will pulse it one, two, three, four, five, six times, eject the old shot, grind another one, tamp it, and then pulse it again several times. So let's just go ahead and take a look. All right, here we go, long. And what the long is supposed to do is try to make a nice mild extraction. So you heard it grind for a second time there. Now it's tamping and it's going to extract. That's a nice head of crema on there. All right, so according to the app, the long is a special coffee recipe made with a low brewing pressure for a delicate flavor that's ideal for coffee lovers. Let's see how it tastes. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good, very hot. I do have this set on the hottest setting. And when you're extracting a long or a coffee too, it does get actually quite, quite hot. You can see it's steaming but the flavor is nice, pretty balanced, not bitter, not sour, just a pretty nice balanced, pretty robust coffee taste. There's our long. All right, the last coffee based drink that I wanna make is a coffee crema. All right, let's start a coffee crema. And here we go, brew. All righty. 
So that is exactly why they call it a coffee crema. Look at all the crema on top. That looks delightful. Mm -hmm. I do really like a coffee crema, especially those first few sips where you got that nice head of cream on top. Delightful. And that is a nice way to start the morning. So here we go. We have got a single, a doppio, a long, and a coffee crema. And you'll see they vary a little bit. These two are quite similar. I had them both set up for 110, I believe 115 milliliters. And you can just set that up in the app, which is quite convenient. So for the coffee, I had it set for 100 milliliters and extra strong intensity. And that's what I've been measuring getting out right around the target plus or minus five milliliters, let's say. So I would say at this point, let's take a look at the milk-based drinks. At this point, let's go ahead and take a look at the menu and then we'll look at the milk-based drinks. All right, well, let's just take a look here at the display, what we got on the Dynamica Plus. What you see, first of all, is my name up there and you see Bluetooth. We'll get to that a little bit later. But as far as my name goes, if you click here on this person, you'll see different profiles. We got Tom, Wifey, In-Laws, and Guest. Let's just go back and we'll see the overview that I've got here. Espresso, you got a doppio cappuccino coffee, and then you got to hit the right button if you want to see more drinks. You can't just flip back and forth. Then you got a long, a cappuccino, latte macchiato, cappuccino mix, a cafe latte, a flat white, a hot milk. You can make hot milk only with this machine, which is nice. Espresso macchiato, hot water. You can make a whole coffee pot and then a double espresso. We're going to just go through those drinks a little bit later, but I just want to give you an overview of what the, what the interface is like here. So this part here, it doesn't move. You know, that's stable. You can move the, the other part up and down where the coffee goes, but that part is stable. What have we got for settings here? You can choose when to rinse and change the water filter, descale, starting that, and then you got drink settings. So you can choose your aroma, which is the amount of beans, the amount of milk, and the amount of coffee for espresso, for example. You can also do that in the app, or you can do it in real time. I prefer to do it in the app. We'll look at that later. Then we've got auto off so you can choose how long you want it to be on 30 minutes is good for me but you can even put it up to three hours which is pretty nice then you have to set your water hardness that's very important we have super hard water that just sets the reminder for descaling you got your language of course bluetooth you can turn the beeps off if you want and you can reset to default values you can also look at the statistics how many coffees have i made 165 18 liters of water how many with milk and so on. Those are the settings. And if you go into my, what you can do is you can customize drink. So if you want to customize the espresso, you can say how strong you want it to be. And you can just enter how much you want all the way up to extra strong aroma. What that does is it grinds longer. So I've already done that though in the app. And if we go back to the main screen, what you'll see is that you can also choose yourself if you want the my volume setting or if you want to override that with these different sizes here. I normally just leave it on the default. Same thing with the beans. You can choose either my beans, the ones that you've specified already, or you can override one through five, or you can even put some in the top up here if you like as well. Now, the last thing to talk about is this Bluetooth. So the Bluetooth is how it connects to the app. The app does not have Wi-Fi, which I think is a bit of a misnomer because here it says connect and it's got what looks like a Wi-Fi symbol, but it's not Wi-Fi. You cannot control this from your phone if you're like outside of the house. You cannot control the machine unless you're close by it with your phone right here. When I'm nearby like this, it will find the machine. Besides that, in the app, you've got all the drinks that you can pre-configure, which is really nice. You can also look at some machine settings. Right now it tells me the status. We're good to go. You can go into the settings as well and download some manuals if you like. And finally, here is where you can adjust the profiles. So you can see in the profiles, Tom, Wifey, and In-Laws. Alrighty, let's move on to the milk drinks because I feel like that's where this machine really shines and I want to get my app set up again. What I'm gonna try first is a cappuccino and the cappuccino I've got set at 48 milliliters of coffee coming out, a milk quantity of 30 seconds, and high intensity, extra strong. So let's give that a shot. And before we do, let's just take a look at this milk frothing device here by DeLonghi. This thing is pretty interesting. It's relatively easy to clean. You just have to rinse it out. This comes off here, this little rubber hose, and you rinse that out as well. 
and this unit. So this is really interesting how it works. I don't quite understand it actually, but I've tried it and it makes a really, really nice milk foam. So let's go ahead and use that. Now the other thing that I noticed about this is it's double walled. This canister, it says thermal carafe. So yeah, it's double walled. It's going to keep your milk colder for longer, which is nice. And you should use cold milk. That'll give you a tastier milk froth. Let's go ahead and fill it up. You want to use cold milk. If you use dairy milk, you want to use fatty milk. In my opinion, I think that tastes better. Let's go ahead and make a drink. All you got to do is remove this little water nozzle and add this canister. By the way, with the milk nozzle, you can run hot water. Let's just do that once real quick. Simple as that. Stop. Let's remove this guy and let's put in our milk canister. Simple as pie. Bam, ready to go. Also this little guy here, this moves up and down like that. So you can adjust that to your drink. Let's go ahead and make a cappuccino. Set it underneath there. Just like that. This time we'll start it from the app. Why not? So brew. All right, so we got 132 milliliters of milk. Oh yeah. And 44 grams or 44 milliliters of espresso on top. And you can see that is a pretty nice mixture. That is not a weak cappuccino, looks very good. Let's give it a shot. And by the way, look at just that head of milk foam on top. That is tasty. Now, some people are gonna tell me, oh, Tom, that's a latte macchiato because it's in the macchiato glass. Well, that's semantics. You know, I could use a cup, but I like to show you how it looks in the glass so that you can see it. But yeah, essentially, they're very similar drinks for this particular machine. Ordinarily, a cappuccino is espresso first and milk on top, and we're gonna do that next. If I take a look at the app, we're going to do a what's called a cappuccino mix. A cappuccino mix is a milk-based drink made with a shot of espresso first and then hot milk, creating a full coffee flavor in the milk foam. Yeah, let's just go ahead and brew. Milk. Oh, I got to turn this back to the milk position. Thank you for that reminder, DeLonghi. Try again. Pre-infusion. Ooh, nice. And there comes our cappuccino mix. Now let's Stop that right there. Not gonna stop anyhow. All right. Ooh, that, that looks pretty good. Take a look at that. Nice brown foam on top and how does it taste? Wow, that's good. That is quite a, quite a different texture actually. So here's normal cappuccino. Here's the cappuccino mix. And I'm detecting here a different flavor. Um, I can taste more of the sweetness coming out of the milk with this one. Uh, but the bottom line is, I'm really, really impressed with, with what DeLonghi has been able to do with their milk frothing attachment. It's pretty incredible. I mean, it's very good milk foam. It's not far off from what you can do with practice on an ordinary espresso machine using the steam wand. It's very close. And this is just a press of a button. So that is really something pretty impressive. Let's clean that. So there are a lot of 
milk based drinks yet here on the app to try out. We've only done two of them so far. There's an espresso macchiato, there's a cappuccino with the doppio, the latte, there is a latte macchiato. What you can really experiment with are the different levels of foam here. So you can adjust that here on the side. In the middle is like a medium froth. Towards the right, you've got a thicker froth and towards the left side, you've got more of just a steamed milk. So not very frothy. And that's basically what you can experiment with all of these drinks. What I would like to do next is try a flat white. Let's do that. So here we go. All right, that's 55 milliliters of espresso. And now let's check out the steamed milk that comes out. It does take a little while to switch in between modes. There it comes. Oh yeah, that's way thinner, way thinner. Sounds different too. All right, so there we go. That's our flat white there. And so the flat white is a much more milky drink here. It's also certainly got some sweetness to it. It's not as hot as these two, to be honest, but also a good, a good flavor. Not quite what I know under flat white, but there's a lot of debate as to what's really a flat white. Anyway, that is DeLonghi's flat white right there, if you can see it. And so here we got a cappuccino, a cappuccino mix, and a flat white. And as an addendum, to answer a question that I oftentimes get, yes, there is an option to do hot froth milk all on its own. What do I think about the machine? I'm honestly pretty impressed. <laughs> I thought originally that this was just like their Magnifica Evo, you know, the cheaper machine that they make, because that can also make nice milk foam and nice espresso, but this can do quite a bit more. You have a lot more control over it, so you can control a better dial on the grind for one. For two, you can make more adjustments on the length of time, the duration of the grind, so that you can get more espresso to get an actual real puck like this. I mean, that's great out of a super automatic. I am super impressed by that. You've also got the different profiles on the front. So you can set it up for how you like drinks, how your significant other likes drinks. You can set it up for guests. It's a pretty easy uh, way to interface with the machine by having the touch screen. And if you feel like it, you can use the app. Although it is a little clunky, uh, I will admit sometimes it crashes on me and just closes. It takes nearly a minute to connect to the machine. So I'd really just suggest using the app just to set up the drink amounts originally, like how intense you want your drinks and uh, what size drink that you want and then leave the app be and just use the machine. That's what I would suggest doing. Um, another thing to mention is this machine is not made in China like the majority of DeLonghi's machines are. This one is actually made in Italy. So that is something quite nice as well. And the quality of the machine feels nice too. This is a really robust uh, milk canister. I'm not afraid of this thing breaking very easily. It works well. It's pretty easy to clean. And also this drip tray and grounds catcher is also pretty nice size. You can fit quite a few uh, of your pucks in there. The drip tray itself is a nice robust design. This is pretty thick stainless steel. So it's robust. I mean, compared to some other super automatics that I've used from DeLonghi, this is more robust. So I think for your money, you're getting a more robust product. You're getting the ability to use profiles. And I know on the higher end machines, profiles is becoming kind of a norm. So you want to be able to switch between users. And what I'm really impressed by is really just the texture that you get on your milk. That's really very good, especially for super automatic, excellent, as well as the espresso extractions. I mean, look at that. That's an actual espresso puck. So very impressive, tasty drinks. I am very pleasantly surprised with the Dynamica Plus.
And now it's up to you guys. Let me know what do you think in the comments. Uh, have you used this machine? Do you know anybody who's got one and do they like it? What's their favorite drink? Let me know what you think. Thanks very much for being with me. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if so, give it a like. If you thought it sucked, give it a dislike. Whatever the case, thanks for spending time with me today. And until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy cappuccino drinking. Bye now.